Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So friends, you might be aware of the fact that we have a series in which uh, what we do, we daily discuss some questions from your prelims perspective. So the name of that series we have kept is let's solve some questions uh, for uh, uh, prelims 2020. So as is uh, clear from its name, so this series is about uh, not just about solving questions but also about your preparation so uh, you are encouraged to participate uh, not only see the questions or listen to them but also encouraged to participate in them if you have any additional information then you can part uh, you can share it with the others by commenting in the comment box so let's start friends discussion so today's video number 12 so today's uh, topic of discussion is uh, geography so we will be covering uh, mcqs from geography first question is which of the following factors may affect air circulation first density of air second air temperature third air pressure fourth height of air column so we have to choose that uh, uh, the, we have to choose correct answer by uh, using the codes below let me tell you friends that all these factors play an important role so density of air plays an important role uh, so uh, in in air circulation and also the near temperature air pressure and height of air column play do do play an important role so explanation is that when air is heated it expands become lighter and goes up and cold air is denser and heavy so uh, lighter air tends to rise and denser air tends to sink so obviously it affects air circulation state uh, so statement one is correct and also air temperature is one of the most effect, important factors affecting its density other factor is moisture and then uh, the second statement is also correct and air pressure is an outcome of total atmospheric conditions in an area so from higher pressure areas air flows to lower pressure areas so statement three is also correct so high air columns uh, uh, that is jet streams they blow at uh, uh, at a height of 2 to uh, uh, at the height of 2 to 8 kilometers in troposphere so their characteristics like temperature pressure or density are not affected by near uh, near earth but they have a peculiar a peculiar air circulation pattern due to they being high uh, or they being uh, over, uh, on or blowing on high altitudes so statement 4 is also correct so learning is that when hot air rises, cold air from surrounding area rushes there to fill in the gap. So that is how air circulation takes place and this can be affected by factors as mentioned above. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following characteristics. First, this layer is free from clouds and other weather conditions. Second, it is ideal for flying aeroplanes. Third, it protects us from the harmful effect of the sun rays. So we have to choose that which of the uh, which atmospheric layer the above corresponds to above uh, statements correspond to. Let me tell you, friends, the answer is stratosphere. So it is the uh, uh, if we uh, see from bottom, then it is the second layer. So D is the answer. So mesosphere, that is option A, can't be the answer as meteorites burn in uh, uh, burn up to this layer. So please note that meteorites burn up in mesosphere. And then thermosphere also cannot be the answer because ozone is not found here. However, it te uh, here temperature increases with the height. So all weather phenomena takes place in troposphere. So that's why B can't be the answer. Uh, so the answer is the uh, D stratosphere. So because uh, uh, the uh, the weather phenomena there is not much d uh, disturbance in this layer so this layer is ideal for uh, fl uh, flying of aeroplanes and also it contains a zone layer so which protects us from harmful UV radiations of the sun so this is in contrast to troposphere near the earth surface which is cooler higher up and warm warmer farther down so uh, it is uh, it uh, with uh, it has uh, it is it uh, stratosphere has stratis stratified uh, is also satisfied uh, stra stratified in temperature with warmer layers higher up and cooler airs far, far, farther down so now let's move to the next question next is why is air filled in the special protective suits of the astronauts visiting moon a there is no air and thus no air pressure at moon b to protect them from the extreme heat on the surface of moon c to overcome the effect of gravity on body fluid uh, body fluid circulation uh, d to save themselves from harmful radiation coming from the moon so friends uh, here the answer is a that is there no, there is no air and thus no air pressure at moon so uh, uh, basically the, by the veins by the uh, the body uh, blood veins they exert pressure so uh, blood exerts pressure outwards so 
मून डजेंट हैज एयर प्रेशर सो ओबियसली द बॉडी वेन विल नॉट एक्सपीरियंस एनी प्रेशर फ्रॉम आउटसाइड देन द इट इज पॉसिबल दैट दीज बीन्स एंड आर्टरीज कुड Uh, could burst so for that reason uh, uh, the, uh, the, the the astronauts are uh, are provided this air f- uh, filled uh, prote- uh, special protective suit so to, so, to, so as to uh, nullify the effect of uh, lack of air pressure in, at moon so the answer is a so more details you can see here the, so the air pressure is zero at moon so if uh, astronauts did not wear these space suits the counter pressure exerted by the body of the astronauts would make the blood vessels burst so the astronauts would bleed now next question is westerlies and easterlies are uh, a seasonal winds b local winds uh, uh, confined to the equator c permanent winds d trade winds so let me tell you friends the answer is permanent winds so westerlies and easterlies are permanent winds so they blow throughout the year so they cannot be called seasonal winds so it is very important so trade winds are confined to the area near equator whereas westerlies and easterlies blow beyond the subtropics so both b and d are also wrong so learning is that winds can be broadly divided into three types that is permanent winds seasonal winds and local winds so trade winds westerlies and easterlies are the permanent winds these blow constantly throughout the year in a particular direction so seasonal winds these change direction in different seasons uh, for example in monsoons in india and then they, there there are local winds that they blow only during a particular period of the day or year in a small area so for example land and sea breeze blow in india so this is the example now let's move to the next question next is the correct order of increasing distribution of water on earth is rivers atmosphere salt lakes ground water and ice caps b ground water atmosphere salt lakes rivers ice caps c salt lakes rivers atmosphere ice caps and ground water d atmosphere rivers salt lakes ground water and ice caps so we have to choose the correct order of increasing distribution of water on earth so friends let me tell you the answer is a that is rivers atmosphere salt lakes ground water and ice caps so what is increasing distribution so we have to uh, uh, arrange them in the ascending order so rivers uh, uh, and then you can see here uh, uh, the the uh, photograph uh, so rivers have uh, uh, 0.0001 share percent share then atmosphere is 0.0019 uh, and then salt like lakes have uh, uh, 0.009% and fresh water lakes and uh, inland seas also have uh, uh, 0.009% and then ground water and fresh water uh, uh, contain 0.68% of the water and then ice cap ice caps have 2% of the water and oceans have 97.3% of the water that is uh, also saline water so this this is the basic discussion friends so if you have scored uh, uh, the three out of uh, uh, three out three or four or five out of uh, five then it is good but if you have scored 0 1 or 2 then it is very much uh, in uh, we can say good because at least you have learned something today so you have seen this video you have something gained from something gained gained something from it so every th- uh, every uh, uh, see every video you see and every new thing you cover Uh, that 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 uh, that ta- that is a, that, that that small coverage of the topic is a step in the uh, a step in the right direction because ultimately you have to cover your syllabus and uh, and in this way you can cover your maximum topics in minimum time so in 10 minutes you have covered multiple things so you have become aware of multiple concepts so at least you have learned something today so that is the thing so uh, this is my request to you people uh, that is not to count your score before ha- before before beforehand because uh, here it is not uh, i am not giving to uh, i am not going to give a trophy to a person who has scored 5 out of 5 so yes scored uh, uh, let him score okay that's good but if you haven't scored then why worry about it it is ultimately uh, the final day uh, pre- the the, the, the uh, what will matter is uh, is the is the, uh, the date of 31st may on which you will be going to attempt so nothing is uh, wrong or right before that so you can you can uh, you can take small step steps in that direction so i i request you people to also see these videos daily so that you can quickly recap important uh, points uh, uh, that you read in your books or ncrts or standard books and lastly friends uh, uh, we have different series on our channel uh, uh, in which we are covering uh, the syllabus of uh, 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 syllabus of different books uh, in a time uh, time framework so we are but we are basically doing uh, we are giving each book or uh, each topic a particular a particular number of days out of which uh, 
स्टूडेंट्स आर गिवन डेली टारगेट्स एंड देन टर्म एम सी क्यूज आर गिवन टू यू फ्रॉम इन द इवनिंग सो दैट इज बेसिकली स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द पर्सन हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रॉम होम बिकॉज मोस्टली स्टूडेंट्स कंप्लेन दैट दे लैक सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन इन द स्टडीज और दे लैक दैट टाइम बाउंड कंप्लीशन ऑफ द सिलेबस सो सच टाइप ऑफ सीरीज हेल्प यू इन कंप्लीटिंग योर सिलेबस इन इन अ टाइम बाउंड मैनर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ सीरीज दैट इन विच वी आर कवरिंग योर बुक ऑफ ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉडर्न इंडिया बाई स्पेक्ट्रम पब्लिकेशन इन जस्ट फोर्टी फाइव डेज सो वी हैव कैप्ट द फी फॉर इट जस्ट वन डबल नाइन सो वी हैव कैप्ट इट एज अफोर्डेबल एज पॉसिबल Uh, so if in case you are interested then you can join using this link uh, and uh, uh, the link will also be provided in the description box and also you can join our telegram channel where we have more than 15000 subscribers that follow us uh, for for the daily updates and they ex- they have access to various public resources that we share for the purpose for example the pdf of this discussion will also be shared on that telegram channel so if in case you are interested to, jo- uh, to get access to our various public service uh, public services then you are more than welcome to join our telegram from channel which the link of which is there in the description box and oh, and this is all about friends today's video if you have any doubts queries you can ask in the comment box and also more details about our contact number or a mail are given in description box so do ensure that you check the description box and this is all about today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead